a day on and South Africans are struggling to come to terms with what happened here. In just a few seconds, so many young lives wiped out. The victims burned beyond recognition. So like, We saw it in the newspaper, and when we passed here, we just felt we had to stop. It's so touching. It's so painful. While South Africa is notorious for deadly accidents, many agree that this one in particular is very horrific, with so many young lives perishing right here. This woman was convinced her five-year-old was among the dead. As soon as we heard about this accident, most of us came out running. Many of our children in this community use the same minibus taxis. I was so relieved my child is fine, yet so sad that my neighbor's child and others died. Some relatives of the crash are still in disbelief. Among them, the family of 14-year-old Malu Singumalo. We are deeply wounded. We are so pained. We were expecting so much from this child as he was growing up and now this. The families are being offered counseling and preparations for funerals and memorials are underway. We are in rural area. When one child is dead, it affects everybody. So everybody here is down, including ourselves. When we go there, we're just pushing ourselves. It's so hard. You, you just know that when the child is born, everybody celebrates because he knows that this child is going to liberate many. So if now their life is cut so short, it's really sad. But families have been told they can't view the bodies, at least until pathologists get to work on Monday. Officials say grieving parents simply would not be able to recognize the children they've lost. Yulisan Jamela, CGTN, Bumalanga, South Africa.